Well, holy moly, would you just look at that. This is the uh, A87 here. We came up here yesterday, but I couldn't film it because the camera was playing up again. But the, the, I mean, look at this, absolutely gorgeous. We've come up from, um, well, Fort William again, up to Speen Bridge, and then uh, turned left up to the uh, Pass and Commando Memorial. And uh, we're heading for Eileen Dunham Castle, where we're gonna have a nice cup of tea. Look at that, I mean, that is just outstanding. As you can see, we got Phil in front of me, Tim is on the front door, and Phil's got the 1250GS, an anniversary model, looks very nice, plenty of extras on it. We're actually going up to uh, Apple Cross, so we're going to go up over the mountain, and have a bit of dinner there, I think, in the, in the Apple Cross Inn. Altogether, I think we worked it out as something like 220 mile, 230 miles round trip. And so far up here, all the rain that we've had has been in the night. We're into the first week, or almost the second week really, of September, and uh, there's still plenty of midges about, I'm afraid. I've got a few nice bite marks on my arms, my hand, a few on my forehead bloody things. Kyle of Lockhouse. Sky Bridge. So we came up here yesterday, we went up over to Sky. And sadly we didn't have a lot of time. Oh dear. There was a nice river down there with the old waterfalls. Well, Scotland certainly delivers, doesn't it, you know, on the scenery. I've done about eight or nine miles since um, I last did a, a little bit of filming here. And when you just look at it, it's like sensory overload. Quite impressive. I must say that GS, it does look very, very comfortable to ride. Yeah, here we go. I can't see. I've lost contact with uh, Tim on the headset as well, so he can't even tell me if it's clear or not. Here's that garage here, look, with uh, petrol, £2.15 a litre. Scandalous. It just feels so absolutely good, so good to be here. Just, uh, we just passed a sign there for, um, there's been some sort of battle here. I don't know what though, I can't see on Glen Shield. Battle of Glen Shield. Whatever that is. I do apologize for not knowing. But, uh, oh, just, <laughs> just look at it. I really am kind of lost for words. A man in his kilt. The sheer beauty and uh, ruggedness of it all. Oh dear. Well, can I get by? 
I don't know how many times I've been up here, up to Scotland, uh, on the bike now, it's probably uh, six, seven times, something like that. You just don't get fed up of it. I've done the North Coast 500, twice we've done John O'Groats to Land's End. We've done the Western High, uh, sorry, not the Isles, the, the Western Highlands up to Durness. We're doing this one. I, I've been up in a group, been up with my brother. I've been up on my own. All of them, very enjoyable. So, here we are. Here we are, we're coming up to Eileen Dunnan Castle again. I don't know if you can if you can see that over there. Do -do. This is where we're gonna stop for a, a nice cup of tea and maybe a Kluti McTooty. This is a well-deserved cup of tea, I think. We've been on the road about uh, I think about an hour and twenty, hour and a half. Hour and a half I'd say. It's long enough, isn't it? Right. So we was only here yesterday. But we should pull in again. They do like to tell us where to go here. Thank you. This is this your holiday home, Phil? This one. <laughs> so, this is us up in uh, Eileen Dunnan Castle at the moment. Just wanted to show you all the bikes that are here. There's quite a few of us, and then we got all the, all the tourists here. And they've all come to see this little thing here. Not Tim. <laughs> We enjoyed our scones with jam and butter on. I'll try and put a photo up. All very nice. And now, uh, now we're heading up for Loch Caron. Loch Caron and then Apple Cross. Yeah, and it's clear at the moment. Looking good, looking good. I love it here, absolutely I love it. So, this is Strathcarran. Very nice. I didn't go in that one, but I've been in this next one here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a military grave in here, in this one. I do like uh, I do like the dead centre of places. We got my favourite petrol station on the right now. Remember with the uh, sausage roll and a cup of tea. What was this? Sixty pence or something? I think you paid for the ca uh, sausage roll, sixty p, and a cup of tea was free. Oh my God! What's this guy doing? Oh, grief. So obviously making tea on the move. Didn't want to spill anything. Yeah. Lock Cow and Garage. Good place to uh, good place for a cup of tea. I think you're right, you know, the first time ever I'm gonna see the view from the top.
But this is new, the viewpoint there, like that, tarmac. Yeah, okay. It's not too shabby at all. We still got to go all the way up there. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, he said that, did he? Ah, oh, right. Okay. Oh, if you're in the area, this is a, a must, really, isn't it? Not too bad for traffic either today. Did you tell him about the switchbacks up here? <laughs> I, okay. I don't think any any road would be any problem for Phil though, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, motorbikes coming down, mate. Only the one. Thank you. Oh yeah, there they are. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like a verse he's coming down as well. Oh, was that a KTM type verse he's <laughs> Oh Jesus. God, I could do with a resurface. Look at the view there. Oh. There's a bloke up there. What's he doing? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. 
No, I'll go to the top one. Otherwise we'll be possibly stopping twice. My best impression of a nodding dog. dog. Stopping you. It's um. Yeah. yeah, full respect. Full respect for that. Jesus. So we're now on the descent into Apple Cross and we're gonna have a look to see if the pub is open but there was a sign back there telling us it was closed until 3 3 p.m. which is a funny very funny time to open it's a good view Nice little hairpin bend. Like there's a big parking space there. They that's new. Like a big lay-by. Old tarmac. Just look at the road there, look at that. Uh... Wow. Thank you. Oh, lovely. I think she was picking her nose, though. Still, I'll forgive her. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That white house down there on the right, that's, uh, that is an actual, um, I think that's a hostel. Uh, a, what do you call it? Like a bunkhouse. Uh, you yeah yeah it's camping and um and hostel and next to it i think is a dead center of applecross <laughs> no nah, that's just a geographical center <laughs> look how clear it is tim See the coast road going round?
Thank you, Mr. Dutchman. See Phil behind and uh, with all his lights on the big GS. Yeah. Just dropping down into the town, into the metropolis. <laughs> a good photo there, uh, looking back at Apple Cross. That's Razi over there. There is it on the left. I can't see the cross, where is it? Oh yeah, 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 that's it! Oh. Yeah, okay. Can you send it to me after? There's people down there as well. Yeah, apparently you can walk in, you know, you can go in there. But that's a bit of a walk. Could be a problem if he stays there. <laughs> well, Tim or the Longhorn. <laughs> Sorry, mate, but my my money's on him. <laughs> You want to go next, uh, Phil? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, charge!
So 